All right, guys, so the other day, Tribe Frags posted a gun tier list for Call of Duty Mobile, and uh, to, to put things kindly, it was wrong. I'm just playing around. I mean, there, there were a lot of wrong ones on there, but they were also trolling, but I wanted to give you guys a fully updated gun tier list for Call of Duty Mobile so you can get a better idea of where to rank each of the guns. This is gonna be primarily for multiplayer. I might put into account some Battle Royale stuff, but I'm definitely a lot more familiar with multiplayer. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like if you do, and we'll hop in the action. I, I believe they do have like secondaries and throwables on here too so i'm just gonna rank those like relative to how they match against each other but i guess we'll include them kilo's definitely still s tier probably toward the bottom of s tier but definitely still up there i think it's a little bit overrated but definitely up there type 25 got a bullet spread accuracy buff the nerf didn't really hit it that hard so i would definitely still consider that to be an a tier gun still very usable especially if you're not against like mega maximum meta tryhards m16's gotta be d tier probably the worst assault rifle in the game i don't know if they're ever gonna make it good if i'm being totally honest ak117 kind of choosing between a and s i'd probably put it at the top of a tier because it is really really good it has high potential but just lacks that consistency that you have for the kilo ak47 is one that they put down in like c or d tier which was way too low maybe they put it in f tier i can't really remember it's got three shot potential it's got some versatility with the 545 mag i would rank it at minimum i would say b tier i'd say that's pretty solid probably around where i would put the asm 10 as well which recently got a couple of buffs so it's definitely up there i wouldn't quite say a but definitely b tier m4 has been always will be a nice solid. i can't say it will always be a c tier gun but it's definitely not anything above that if i'm being honest the bk57 maybe low b high c kind of kind of right there in between the two there's just nothing phenomenal about the bk it doesn't have crazy fast time to kill it's easy to use but if you're not killing fast at any range then what's the point you know i feel like you can kind of throw the bk the lk the kn44 all in like the same category like they're all scrunched up right together b to c just not great guns but you can use them if you want to because they don't really have any recoil and the icr is kind of in the same boat i think the icr actually does have three tap potential now if you hit a headshot so because of that i'm gonna put it above the lk but still pretty mediocre i would probably put the man of war ahead of the asm 10 maybe even up in a tier a tier might be a little bit high but i think this is a really underrated gun and especially given the fact that it's still three shots it is incredibly reliable especially if you haven't worked past a play style once again i love the kn44 but it's right there with the icr the lk24 it's just not great and to be honest i feel like the hbr is kind of in the same boat it, it's got a couple buffs so maybe slightly ahead of the ak47 but i feel like half of our ar tier list is going to be all in b hvk large cal is extremely underrated and might honestly be on the brink of putting in a tier just because it only has 24 bullets i can't but it's definitely up there drh is probably close to s high a or s i don't think i can quite put it in s just because it doesn't have that long range viability but it's a really good counter to the smg meta pc deepers definitely got to go in s tier i i would say it's the it's the medium close range alternative to the kilo and one that's really underrated right now fr556 is another one of those like you you can just kind of squish all these guns together and i don't think anybody would miss any one of them in particular like the fr the lk the kn the icr they all feel so incredibly similar and to be honest the, the amax is right there as well i think the amax did get a little bit of a buff so it feels maybe slightly better but not really as val is definitely up closer to a tier i think it's one of those guns that was like in the top five and it never really got nerfed it's just that other guns got buffed so much that nobody ever really uses it i put the m13 probably like bottom of s tier and th this is one of the guns you just don't have to have any skill to use it. it has no recoil like it doesn't even have vertical recoil you literally just shoot and you will probably kill somebody and especially because the headshot multiplier i personally like it a little bit better than kilo but as far as its competitive usage i would say eh, slightly below the peacekeeper i want the swordfish to be good but it's like realistically i probably throw it in there with the rest of the b tier ars you know recently i've had people trying to convince me that the odin is like s tier it's definitely not it's better after the buff i wouldn't really put it up in a tier i would probably put it at like the top of b tier if i'm being totally honest xpr is pointless throw that down in d tier arctic 50 i mean it's it's all right but relative to other snipers there's not much of a reason to use it obviously 
the DOQ is going to be the sniper that we throw in S here. I will say, very underrated is the Kashka. It has almost identical stats and a couple that are actually better than the DOQ. It has one slower RPM. I think it is the equivalent of the DOQ. So because of that, I would actually put both of those in S tier as snipers go. But surprisingly, people still don't really use the Kashka that much. Definitely throw in the NA45 in F tier. Outlaws in like low C tier probably. There's just not much of a reason to use it. I've started to see the right tech getting used more and more in competitive. I would almost consider this to be an A tier sniper. And I think it, definitely the rate of fire gives it some utility. I'd probably put it right there with the Locust as well. I, obviously not everybody loves the Locust, but for me, the ADS animation just feels better. So I've got it up there. To be honest, oh, I, I feel like if I'm putting the SVD in A tier, maybe I got to drop the Locust down a little bit, but I can't put it too far behind. And then obviously you got the M21, which is actually worse than the XPR. So I got to throw that in F tier. I don't know if this video is going to go up before my underrated guns in COD Mobile, but I talked about how underrated the S36 is. Fastest killing LMG in the game, unless you're like requiring headshots. I would put that high B tier for sure. Not quite going to be able to keep up with the with your AS Vels and your Type 25s, but if you can control recoil, it's really strong. UL is completely useless. No reason to ever use that weapon. RPD with cooling barrel, definitely up there. I'll put it like right in B tier because time to kill is not great, but it's definitely usable just because you can fire forever. M4 LMG might be slightly, I mean, I might throw it right there with the M4. Like you might as well, that, that, that they're family, you know, the M4 and the M4 LMG, they can be miserable and C tier together. Chopper's probably mid B tier. Uh, I think it got a little bit of a buff, but still not great. Holger, realistically overall, probably still the best LMG. Uh, as far as like overall usage. So even though it doesn't kill as fast as the S36, it has less recoil and a hundred round base mag. So because of that, I'd probably put it in A tier. And the PKM, the mobility on this thing is just so freaking bad. I'd probably put it at, like the bottom of the B tier, maybe even top of C tier, just because the mobility and the rate of fire is slow. I put it probably put it right there with the Hades as well. Maybe Hades slightly lower, slightly, no, I can't, I can't put it ahead of the M4. RUS, old reliable. I think I, I think I definitely got to put that one maybe above the KN44, but it's definitely not amazing by any any means. The Chickum, you keep trying to buff it. It doesn't do anything. You got to still stick it down in D tier, unfortunately. PDW, eh, mid C tier SMG, I would say. Razorbacks, probably realistically a little bit better than the PDW. So I'd put it right there. Uh, yeah, I think so. MSMC still kills stupid fast up close. I think this is a very underrated gun. I put, I probably put the MSMC up toward the top of B tier because it, if you know how to play it situationally, especially on the right maps, it is crazy good. HG40 got a buff, still doesn't feel amazing. I would say like as far as feel goes, probably right there along with the, uh, with the ICR. I think they're kind of in the same boat. Pharaoh's pretty much obsolete now that we have the KSP. Um, I, I, I'd still say it's better than the Razorback. Not by a ton, but it's got potential, you know? So I'll put it right there with the Swordfish. GKS, this is, uh, this is a tough one. I normally, like before, I probably would have put it in A tier. But the more I'm watching competitive, more I think that it could be S tier. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the GKS in S tier. I think it's finally earned that spot. Cordite got a buff. I know a lot of people been liking it. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely a solid option. I think if we get a big nerf to the CBR, then it can be somewhat of a replacement to it. I'd say high B tier. QQ9. Okay, maybe I have the MSMC a little too high. If Yeah, because the QQ9 is realistically probably right there. QQ9, I don't think you can put that in A tier, right? No, it's good, but it's not eight tier. Holy frick, there's so many freaking guns in this game. It's ridiculous. I feel like I need to move more stuff down to C tier. You know what? Let me let me just move some stuff down real quick. Trying to I'm trying to reorder. I think we still keep the Arctic in C, BK, Razorback. Move some of these down. Be honest, the RUS might be C tier. 
I just put way too many guns in B tier. Oh my gosh. It's like all ARs. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I got to put all of these down in C tier now. Just to, if I'm going to be like completely honest, because they can't keep up. Like the time to kill, it's just not there. Okay, maybe I put the S36 a little bit too high too. No, you put the S36 like right there. I think I feel better about that. Okay, now we can keep it moving. Fennec, definitely, I would say high B tier. You can maybe even go low A tier. I think that, I mean, once again, a lot of it just comes down to the alternatives i think when we see a nerf to the mac 10 i think the fennec's gonna start to become a lot more popular but just as far as how it plays right now probably b tier agr i cannot believe ferg went and put this in his freaking top five guns i would say i would say i put the agr like right next to the cordite <laughs> it's definitely and like i'll be honest it's not a tier it's just not quaxer's probably like high c tier maybe even mid c tier there's just not much use for it anymore you gotta have the bison up here just because it is and always will be one of the easiest to use guns in all of call of duty mobile no recoil lots of bullets not much you can hate on there MX-9 still kills fast up close, so maybe I'd put it like right there. I'd probably put it below the MSMC, to be honest, maybe lower beat here. Anyone who tells you the CBR is not the number one gun in the game does not know what they're talking about. PPSH, I think is still underrated. I can't justify putting it in A tier, but I think it's definitely one of those higher, higher solid tier uh smgs in the b category i feel like the top of b is absolutely dominated by smgs right now mac 10 definitely still a top two gun in the game so we'll put that up there ahead of the cb or ahead of the kilo not ahead of the cbr hs2126 f tier i've been trying to get a video out of this thing after they buffed it and it's still hot garbage by 15 got a nice buff that i feel like moves it up in like mid b tier it, it's got some decent range now it's workable HSO 405 is the by 15s poor little brother. We're going to throw that right there. Striker F tier. Every time, every time, every time, every time, always. Karam's probably the most overrated gun in the game. I don't understand why Garena loves it so much. I'd probably put it low B tier. Garena shotgunners, please don't get mad at me. There's not much reason to ever be using the Echo. I would put it probably middle of D tier. Honestly, same for the Jack 12. I'll just kind of lump those two together. R9, R9's on the brink of being S tier. It's definitely top of A tier. This is the only shotgun that gro global pro players use. I've seen some people go absolutely ham with it. The range on it is crazy. Definitely up toward the top of A tier. Holy freak, this is so many items. You know, going into this, I probably would have put the Kilo Bolt Action in D, but just because of watching Solo go ham with it today, I'm putting it in C. SPR, like a slightly better version of the Kilo Bolt Action. MK2 is a slightly worse version of the Kilo Bolt Action. SKS, definitely still S tier. I'm getting lost in where I am in my tier list right now. I almost feel like I have too many guns in S and maybe not enough in A. I might have to toss some of my B tier guns up to A. I might throw the Fennec and the uh, the Bison up to A for right now. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. You know what? Let me let me get my S tier up to B. It, it's a good gun. All right, secondaries. Um, I would consider the Deagle to be the best secondary as far as pistols go. So I'd probably put it in S here. Shorty got a buff, so it's probably up there close to B. MW11, not much reason to use it. J358, that's like a like a poor man's deagle. Yeah, probably probably up there in C. Crossbow is just too tough to use. I don't think anybody's ever gonna use it D tier. Renetti's probably like an A tier secondary, you know? Like solid, not amazing. We don't have the L car in here, but if I was to put the L car, probably A or B. And the knife is the knife, we'll just put it and see x got nerfed into oblivion so it's probably d tier i'm tempted to just put every melee in d tier but i'm not gonna do it just because the prize fighters are so freaking easy to use that you gotta put them up at like the top of a tier d13 sectors and f tier smurfs is a poor man's fhj that goes into d tier if you play respawns on a regular basis then you gotta throw the fhj all the way up in a tier Re realistically s tier but i'm just not gonna do it because it's disrespectful to the S tier guns. Thumper's definitely up there too. It gets really annoying to watch, but unfortunately it is very, very strong. Noah, I, I want you to look at me. Trip mine is F tier, stop using it.
Regular nade is B tier. Giga Chads use sticky nades. I'm not going to put an S tier, but yeah, you get it. All right, I'm going to have to zoom out so I don't have to keep scrolling so much. Combat X is D tier. Thermite, I hate it, but it's still really good. So it's probably A tier, but I'm putting it at the bottom of A because I hate it. Same for Molotov, realistically. Contact nade, and eh, not super usable, not super tactical, probably C tier. Smokes, if you're a smart player or A tier, I'd say they're they're in a good spot right now. I'll, th I'll throw them there with sticky nades. Flashbangs, like why are you using flashbangs? You got concussions, why in the world would you ever use flashbangs? Concussions, concussions are freaking S tier. Concussions are so good right now. I'm throwing heartbeat sensor in F tier because if you use a heartbeat sensor, then you have no intelligence. EMP is one of the most useless things in the entire game. Trophy system. I love trophy system, but also buff trophy system. I want trophy systems better. Put it in S tier. Gas nade means you have no skill, so I'm throwing that in F tier as well. Decoy nade, what's wrong with you? Echo nade was the most underwhelming thing they've ever added to this game. Storm ball is kind of weird, but it kind of works, so I'm throwing it in C. Flash drone didn't really do anything. Cryo bomb's a solid B tier. Like, subscribe, and tell me why I'm wrong in the comments below.